Can you hear me? All right, I can hear now. There we go. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, yeah, I just got in for, from a run, actually, so good timing. Nice. I just bought Threadmill because it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're in LA? Yeah, I am. Yeah, so things are a little easier, I am. Uh, you know, it's, it's relative, but yeah. Well, I'm not in the UK. I'm not in London. Oh, you're not? No, no, no. I, uh, my, my partner is Slovenian. Um, so in Wait, I'm sorry. I might be too sleepy, but what's the connection to UK? Because I'm British. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, like in this global collaboration environment, like I don't even notice these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm British. I spent most of my career in England, um, but this this pandemic was starting to to kick off. Um, and uh, was shacked up in, in, in Slovenia. And actually, Slovenia has handled the situation really well. So um, we still got relative freedom of movement. We've nice. got a control over the healthcare system. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they, they shut everything down really soon because the first outbreak outside of China was Venice, right? Mm -hmm. Slovenia is three hours from Venice but they were quick to act and mobilize it's much easier when you've got a population of 2 million as well versus 300 million in your case. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, like, thank you so much for, for jumping in. Like I, I can't emphasize how much of your help is actually needed in this domain because like we're growing so fast and you know, we've, We've grown to almost 900 members in less than two weeks or, or more than two weeks. I don't even remember, but you know, it like I am realizing that we have to bring support and some form of funding to, you know, sustain the operations until we either become sustainable nonprofit or we, you know, spin off, you know, something out of it, like, we're having conversations about nonprofit formation. I've never done it before. And, uh, you know, people educated me on that yesterday that it's, it's going to take some time. So we're figuring out uh, the fiscal partnerships with other nonpro nonprofits to run mm -hmm. money through them uh, for right now. But yeah, like the, the funding situation is very, very important, even though it, it's not like our core focus right now, but I'm thinking like two weeks away from now, month from now and, and others. Mm -hmm. oh, there is Max who's joining us. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're operating on this kind of radical transparency, uh, you know, notion. And uh, we're uploading all the videos to YouTube. By the way, this video is recorded, if, if you don't mind. Uh, that's that's basically us, um, you know, being super efficient at knowledge propagation and making sure that everyone can sync uh, on what's going on. And we've already saved like 200 hours on that by people watching YouTube videos. Nice. Which is insane. Like 200 uh, hours. Have you heard of Fireflies? Dot AI. No. Um, um, they plug into Zoom and they essentially take notes and transcribe it and put it into um, nice do you yeah. have a connection there yeah yeah i know the ceo we went through the same accelerator in san francisco amazing can you connect us for uh, for an account because right now we're doing it manually just annotating and creating those timestamps not sure if you've seen yeah but, yeah but yeah it helps a lot in terms of uh you know making sure that people watch uh, the videos and jump into places that are most relevant to their um you know interests. i'll put you in touch there's a few of them uh there's a few companies like that they're not the only ones um but i, I can certainly put you in touch with them amazing all right so yeah just tell me what do you think like how obviously there is an information overload if you try to stay on top of everything you won't be able to i highly recommend you you know uh, picking a couple of like side channels to 
to interact with. And primarily I, I added you to the funds one because it sounds like the most um, impactful. For yeah, well, I'm not technical, so, <laughs> but I, I'm used to working on fairly technical products, um, but I'm not a, a technical person. So, but certainly on the commercial side of things, that's, that's where I can, uh, I, I can, I can be helpful. As I said, I, I, um, yeah, my only concern is time because I've got, I've got, <laughs> I've got to look, and, it on right now. look, and everyone commits, uh, you know, the amount of time and, uh, you know, that, that they can commit, like it's completely volunteer. Yeah. There is no uh, requirement for you to spend like two hours per day or six hours per day. Some people, dedicate 30 minutes per day some people 10 minutes and some people yeah. do 24 cent that's the real thing so yeah. we all have jobs or you know things that uh, we still have to take care of families and other stuff so yeah like completely upfront you can you know commit 10 minutes per day and still be impactful yeah cool cool yeah so i said i've um um actually my work is is uh, so i'm a consultant um so actually i took a big hit in uh uh last month um but actually i only really started to see it la this week so on the, <coughs> only this week i was like oh i've got a bit of time um because i'm not doing any consulting projects and that's when i decided okay what can i how can i help um and so I was starting to try and figure out ways I can help. But I launched a little side project for um, for Slovenes, actually. So it's for the local community, trying to help out um, uh, local struggling businesses. Um, so I, that was a sort of solo initiative that went live two days ago. And then uh, obviously I saw this last night and I thought it was really cool and I wanted to get involved. Cool. So, I mean, uh, as I mentioned in the, in the Slack conversation, the biggest problem right now is basically packaging it and positioning it for people of interest. I had a brief conversation with uh, Audrey um, from Slack, and she's basic, she's from Geneva. She's an impact VC. She has a platform that um, and a network of impact VCs. Um, mm -hmm. She was willing enough to help us deliver whatever you know positioning and packaging that we come up with to her network um she's obviously overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that is happening here but she tries mm -hmm. to stay on top of it and she frequently sends us links to various funding opportunities but cool. yeah if we can if you could help us basically create even a, a google doc with basic things that we need to have i mean like if I come from a standard VC environment uh, and I would say like, we need a pitch deck, but do we need a pitch deck? Like what form should that pitch deck be? Like who, who will be reading those pitch decks? And y you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Um, so I have seen, this is kind of just off the top of my head. I have seen some activity in the, in the VC world. Um, in terms of coordinating teams and making funds available, um, there's there is there is some movement. Um, as I said, it, this is something that I I, I teach, something that I I have um, I have a lot of material for that I can ha I'll happily sort of dump on someone. Um, but you're a VC yourself, so uh, by the well, you're a VC or you, you have an incubator? It's a mix between the startup incubator and consultancy. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah. kind of like we rarely invest cash, but it's, it's a mix, uh, mix and match model. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So similar. Um, so I've got a lot of material that I, I, I walk startups through and say, look, this is what you need to do at this stage. Um, these are the materials that you need. These are the kind of things you need to say. Um, and this is the process you need to follow. And I've got all of that already mapped out. It's all, it's all just stood there. I've got it all on Notion, uh, if you know what Notion is. Um, so I've got all of my work on, on Notion. I'm happy to sort of make that available free. Um, if you can create like a copy of that uh, or, or something or put that into a Google Doc or, or something uh, and send a link to Slack channel, that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that could be super helpful. And then um, uh, in terms of 
create, I mean, creating materials is, it, it just takes time, right? It's like, there's no way of getting around a pitch deck or a growth model um, or a list of investors. I mean, list of investors, that's just, that's just grunt work. It's figuring out who, who's doing what, where, as, as I'm sure you know, pitch deck, it generally follows a, a, the same format every time, but it's still, you still work to get whatever this is into a format that a VC could understand. But you're quite right in terms of like f fundraising from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, right? Uh, I know they put a lot of cash uh, behind uh, initiatives, but it's it's a completely different model. Yeah, uh, and and I think, and this is what Audrey mentioned, like she thinks that it's actually, it's going to be way faster and way better to kind of crowd crowdfund it intelligently in terms of going to these, um, you know, philanthropists or people with money that are more agile than standard VC structures and standard, like, you know, VCP or any other um, non-rigid structures. Mm -hmm. So obviously like the, even the pitch deck is different for, for those people. Like there's not going to be access, exit strategy. There's not going to be, you know, uh, ways to get 100x returns. It's really about the impact and ability to help the current situation. So, um, yeah, again, not sure how much time you have, but maybe you could, like, leave notes on specific things in your notion, on this copy of the notion, to indicate, like, this is relevant or this is not relevant or something like that. You know what I mean? Because the, the beauty of, you know, what we currently have is there is no shortage of people. It's mm -hmm. the shortage of structure to guide them through because there are so many people that are willing to help. They just don't know how. Um, if we I, tell someone to find 100 impact VCs in, you know, in, in Europe, there's going to be a person to do that grunt work and, you know, mundane work. It's just we have to define what, what they have to help. Oh, yeah, perfect. Well, then, um, yeah, as I said, my, my time is limited, so um, not a huge desire to do the grunt work because I just, I just can't. But I'm happy to sort of help shape what it should look like. Um, it sounds like our backgrounds are, are, are similar in so far as we're used to startups and VC money versus um what this is which is uh fundraising for a uh, charity um uh, essentially is that, is that what you'd call it um, yeah non-profit that's how we're, we're kind of calling it um but i said I, I started my career although admittedly it was over 10 years ago at the world economic forum and you went in geneva actually so i, I started my career in geneva um, mm, nice but it's been a few years but in, in any case for those kind of things, essentially it's, um, it's jumping through hoops, it's dotting the I's um, and, uh, and crossing the T's when, when you're doing that kind of thing. So typically, like the, the EU Commission, you'll have, you'll have all of these grants that are available and you just need to apply, but there is a skill to it. So um, I have friends in the, the blockchain industry, for example, right, who are really adept at, at figuring out how can they apply for various EU commission funding? And 70% of their revenue is, 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 is through that. Oh, wow. um, if you yeah. have people in your network that might be relevant and could help us, that's also one of the best ways to help. Just yeah. invite them and let them fill, fill out the form. And yeah, that, that's the best way probably to, to scale your impact too. Because every person that you bring uh, will obviously have an impact and that's that's the beauty of this collaboration um so yeah i'll speak to them so they're really, i mean they're amazing guys that uh, they've really figured out how to how to get uh money from from the eu um in a in a way that sustains their business as as the whole industry because the whole industry for blockchain is still nascent i would say yeah uh, so they're, they're sustaining themselves as as, as the business matures um, through that. Uh, and so obviously at some stage it will switch to, to, to more private 
uh, okay. That's what we're doing now. Uh, well, that sounds like a lot of, you know, uh, things that you can already provide. Let me summarize, unless there's something else that you're thinking. No, so, let's start with that. Yeah, so the Fireflies um, connection, the person that can help us automate the annotations and timestamps. The second one is the uh, sharing of some form of that knowledge base that could be useful for us to um, basically direct people to help with individual tasks like list of investors or stuff like that and mm -hmm. the third one is probably bringing you know one two people that um, are relevant and have experience getting uh, the, the financial support mm -hmm. I think that's plenty like if you can help us with, with those three things that would be amazing cool let me uh... Let me, let me go on that. I've got a bunch of shit I need to do and tonight or tomorrow I'll get on all those tasks. Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much, man. All right. Um, well, great to chat. Good initiative. I uh, love to be a part of it and, and, and be helpful if I can and uh, catch up when needed. All right. Sounds good, man. Have a good night. Bye. Bye, guys.